Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for joining me for this video. My name is Leanne. Welcome to my channel in the garden again. In this video, I'm going to show you my cattle panel greenhouse. I made this from scratch. I've learned a lot in the process and I think I even have learned a better way how to do it. So this is part one cattle panel greenhouse. There will be a part two. I want to show you the first one done and then I will do a how I did it video for the second one because now that I've done it once I feel like it'd be a little bit easier to record content um, showing people how to make it. I'm sure there's other videos like this out there. I'm not claiming to have this original thought for a cattle panel greenhouse but I got the plastic um, to build my own cover for it so let me show you. It is not done yet. Now what I need to do is get more bricks to line the edges here so that it doesn't blow away. And I'm going to attach, okay, so this is a adhesive zipper. I'm going to put one of these uh, here and also here. Right now, this is literally just like tied around the cattle panel to hold it still. I'm going to pull it as tightly as I can, then I'm gonna put the zipper on it and then cut the extra off. My brother-in-law Andy gave me the idea for these adhesive zippers. I don't remember where I got them to tell you in this video, but I'll try to find a link and have it in the description below if you guys are interested. Sticky zippers for projects like this. Um, put those there for now. This is one zipper. Pretty easy to put on actually. Holds the plastic way tighter and it'll make it a lot easier to get in and out if it's nice and taut all the time. Now, up here, I'll be able to unzip each of these a little bit and let it hang down. And I could put a insect netting, which is what I plan to do right up here at this top. And then I have a window in the back so that there could be air circulation on really hot days. The reason I'm using the zippers and not just greenhouse patch tape to attach all of this plastic is because of we get hurricanes here and I wanna be able to take this greenhouse down if we get a hurricane come our way so that it doesn't completely rip it apart like it did last time I had a greenhouse up and I left it up for a hurricane. It was a pretty cheap greenhouse though, so I'm sure some of them can handle a hurricane but this, this isn't attached to the ground in any way. T-posts are pounded in, but there's no concrete or anything. So even if the plastic was held together super strongly to itself, it would get lifted up and, or torn to pieces by a hurricane. So I am making this in a way where I can unzip it, take it off the cattle panels and put it in the shed for a hurricane. I know it's not perfectly symmetrical, but 
it is done. All I have to do is cut the extra off, but that's gonna wait because I have another chore I need to do really quick in the garden before I go inside and make dinner. Let's take a tour, shall we? actually a lot warmer in here. If you guys could take a second, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right. This is the back window. It's just inside. Right? So what I'm going to do differently for the next one is I'm going to do the ends the same as this one. I'm gonna do, each greenhouse is gonna be three pieces of plastic. I bought a 10 pack of zippers. I used five for this greenhouse. So that that gives me five to use for the other one. Um, hopefully we can figure out how to jerry-rig this. I might need to buy uh, another pack of zippers, but this greenhouse is done. I will show you what we did, what we used. I'll have a materials list in the description below, but the next video, the greenhouse part two, will be the how I actually did it. So here we have four T-posts per cattle panel and there's three cattle panels per greenhouse. Now, I actually recommend using like five cattle panels if you're gonna make a greenhouse this size because of it will sag in the middle and I had some free bamboo and we just ran it across so it's working pretty well but it's not the prettiest thing so. it's nice to be in here my toes are cold um the plastic tells you what side to have on the inside and I didn't realize that until it was up but thank goodness, it's all facing the right way. <laughs> Yikes. This is my greenhouse table that I built from a pallet. Look at the video up here. Super simple and probably not the best design, but I've slapped it together in like 15 minutes. So it works well enough for me. This is it, you guys. Thanks guys for watching. If you need a friend to learn how to garden with, I'm your girl. Happy gardening and stay tuned for the part two, greenhouse part two.